Welcome to the Design and Technology Department. I'm now going to talk about the three options available to, for you to choose at GCSE. Construction in the built environment, design and technology, and food preparation and nutrition. By selecting one of these courses, we can offer you the opportunity to access some really good grades, uh, develop employability and university skills and there are many job excellent job prospects through pursuing one of these options. The first option I'd like you to, to talk to you about is construction and the built environment. Within this course you're going to develop lots of good skills such as design skills in terms of hand drawings using drawing boards, CAD modelling using Revit, problem solving in order to come up with a good design, thinking logically in terms of developing your design using Revit, being creative in terms of acting as an architect and coming up with an interesting design. You need to work extremely accurately and you will be working on a longer extended project. The first unit on the course uh, is revolved on giving a design, you're given a design brief and then you have to come up with a range of hand drawings such as plans, elevations and cross sections before you then develop that model into a full CAD model using Revit industrial software. The second unit is the examination unit which requires you to investigate materials used in construction, the type of construction techniques used and also in detail look at sustainability and how you can make your buildings energy efficient. The course structure is made up 40% end of year examination in year 11 and 60% for the design project uh, which is con under controlled conditions for 30 hours. The next option I want to talk to you about is design and technology. So again, in design and technology, you're going to obviously be thinking about working log logically, uh, problem solving, uh, you're going to be using computer-aided design, industrial software, and computer-aided manufacture such as laser cutter, CNC machines, uh, such as the lathe, for instance. You're obviously, again, having to work very precisely, especially when you're designing the final design and producing the products. And again, you'll be, in, you'll be working on a longer project. The course content is made up of technical principles where you'll be looking at the materials and processes and systems that you can are used and you can be using in your project. Then you'll be looking at developing your design skills in terms of sketching, uh, researching and then modelling using computer-aided design and then linking that to manufacturing an accurate and detailed product. And the fine, final element of the course is to develop your analysis and evaluation skills as you're completing the project. You'll be completing a number of projects in year 10, potentially uh, a project on robot wars, to develop your skills in this subject and learn some new skills. And then in year 11, you'll be completing your non-examined assessment. So here are some examples of uh, a golf collection device for golf balls uh, and cleaning a river. So you'll be given a number of set themes and you have to choose one and then you design your product of your choice. So the course structure is 50 cent for the examination uh, which will be delivered for throughout the course and then examined in year 11 and then you could be completing the coursework starting in the latter part of June in year 10 and finishing by Easter in year 11. The last course I'd like to talk to you about is food preparation and nutrition. The skills that you will acquire here are a range of cooking skills, so you'll be practicing skills you learnt in Key Stage 3 and learning new skills as well and obviously working with more complicated recipes. Okay, So you'll have to plan and carry out experiments and you'll need to work productively 
um, so that you can finish these recipes in the time set. And again, the planning and preparing for the NEA is quite an involved process. Okay. So the course content is made up of the following. So food commodities, so you'll be looking at the ingredients that you use, different types of ingredients, fruit, vegetables, etc. Um, you'll be looking at how you can form a balanced diet by presenting uh, recipes which have a mixture of ingredients. Uh, you'll be looking at the science behind food. So, for instance, chemical reactions, uh, how you use heat, how you use different types of sugars, raising agents in baking, for instance. Uh, the another element is looking at how, where the food comes from. Can you source local ingredients? Um, should you be producing recipes um, which have produce in season, or should you not? Cooking and food preparation. So you, again, you'll be developing some further skills you haven't used before, such as roasting, uh, deep fr frying, and filleting fish, for example. Uh, the NEA is broken into two sections. The first is an experiment. So here we've got one experiment where the investigation was to look at dip various raising agents and then you cook a number of cakes, for instance, here, and then you can analyse what effect each of the raising agents has on the end result. A second one here where it was looking at different sugars and fat content and then again looking at that, what effect that has on the baking of these cakes. The second part of the NEA is to plan a three course menu where you'll be planning all the courses you can complete and you'll be plating up and designing the layout of the table. So you'll be assessed on all those elements. And here's another example here for a different recipe. So the course structure is 50% for the combined NEAs, NEA1 and NEA2. Uh, that will take place in year end of year 10, beginning of year 11. And the examination will take place at the end of year 11 and is also 50%. So just to round up, uh, there are some excellent reasons to choose DT, DT, one of the options. So excellent grades, excellent employability skills and excellent job prospects. Thank you very much for listening.